It's Barbie week. It's Barbie week. I have been waiting and waiting for Barbie week because even though most women aren't going to do Barbie makeup, how fun, right? We all had Barbies growing up. We all loved how glamorous she was. So today I'm doing um, Barbie makeup using All Saint and with Halloween around the corner, they're expecting it to be the biggest Barbie Halloween that we've ever had and so maybe some of you could get a fun idea for Barbie Halloween makeup coming up for your child or a friend or maybe there's a Barbie party coming up but how fun would this makeup be? I know you want to wear it. It just takes a little bit of confidence and a little bit of practice but even if you would never wear this look have fun watching because it is fun to watch crazy colors and um, you'll learn a thing or two. I'm glad you're here. Hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm Michelle Spieler. I'm a 25 year professional makeup artist. I'm also the creator of Mature Makeup Masterclass. I just added a new class. I'm so excited. I updated the skincare regimen video. So if you're in Masterclass, check that soon. It will be uploaded and I will be adding new videos since I really filmed it about a year and a half ago and I'm super excited to add some new videos. Remember you get locked in right now at the price right now and then anything I add after that, you're already locked in at that price. So. Don't forget to sign in now and get enroll now. I mean, just do it. It's only $67. I'm raising it to $97 very soon. And I started a referral program. So if you refer family or friends, you get a $10 reward and they get 10% off the class. So win-win. Let's do it. I also started a Mature Makeup Master page over on Facebook where I'm gonna be loading um, some, probably more TikToks for women who aren't on TikTok and don't appreciate TikTok, but also I'm gonna do an occasional live video over there. So go over there and all you have to do is click follow. It's not a group, it's anyone can join. Okay, I'm super excited. It's Barbie week. Look, my new neon palettes came. I haven't even loaded them, but what says Barbie more than fun neon colors? I can't wait to see the movie. Gracie and I have a birthday next week. I am turning 56. Gracie's turning 16. She'll be driving soon. But in just celebrating Barbie, I decided to do some fun Barbie looks this week. And how could I not do Barbie on Saint makeup, right? We have to do it. So I pretty much have my face on for the most part. I have my brows. Um, I have the lightest little application of mascara. I have the tiniest bit of um, R5 Demi, which I call Barbie Pink, just right on the cheek, but look at how skin-like that looks. But don't worry, Barbie's not real natural girl, so we're gonna go heavier. Um, and then I have a little bit of my Athens all over, but I don't have bronzer, so let's do some bronzer. This new color came called High Tide. Let's see how it's different than Bella. Uh, I'm just gonna use it straight from here. But I have no idea. Okay. So I would say this is a little bit warmer. I think this is a little bit warmer than Bella. So look at that. And it almost kind of reminds me of like true bronzers that we've always used to warm up the skin. It might also be a little, is it deeper? I think it might be a little bit deeper, but I like it. I mean, it really is giving me that sun kissed look. This is the first, I was telling someone the other day, this is the first summer that I am not at the pool. I only went to the beach for one week and it was a gray week and I was in a big hat the whole time and under an umbrella. This is the first week that I have, I mean the first summer that I have not tanned myself. And I think I'm just done with it. I mean, I get so much, look at all the sun damage on my arm and it's also on my chest. And I'm like, you know, I think I might be done sunning myself. I think I'm gonna become like any one of my Asian friends, moms who never went into the sun a day in their life because they're smart. They knew it wasn't good for their skin. They knew it wasn't good for aging. And I think I'm gonna, I think I get it now. 
I never could understand why someone didn't want a little bit of vitamin D, but now I get it. Okay, so that's high tide. So if you felt that bronzer, Bella bronzer was maybe too dull or not deep enough, this is the beautiful brand new high tide and um, it's very pretty. I'm not using more Athens, but I'm just gonna take my brush that has a little Athens on it and then I'm just gonna, I like to smooth out any edges so that we're not seeing any edges of the actual bronzer. And big surprise, I'm not gonna do bronzer in my crease today, big surprise. Yeah, see, look how sun-kissed I look. Of course, now, now my chest looks super pale. But anyway, yeah, that's high tide. I had to have it just because, you know, I color match so many women, I had to know what it looked like on me because that's how I know how to recommend it for people. But that's high tide, very pretty. Look at how warm I look. I look very sun-kissed. I like it. It's very pretty. Okay, so I am going to start on my eyes. And I'm going to go in with Paris, which is this really pretty pink. Not the shimmery pink, but the matte pink. And I'm going to start building up my crease. Cute. Cute, 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 cute. If you look at Barbies, they have a lot of pink on their eyes. Now they might have blue eyelid or aqua or you know just different fun colors but they always kind of have that pink on their eyes now i realize i'm never gonna look young like a barbie or you know margot robbie she's a beautiful young woman still but we can look like barbie's mom and we could still have fun and you know what it's gonna be the biggest barbie halloween we've ever seen so i'm gonna do that real pretty pink just right in the crease And then I actually, shoot, I got a new color. Now I don't know where it is. We'll have to look for it in a minute. But there we go. Um, let me see if I have any in here. Oh, you know what we could do? I can go in with this really pretty red tone. I really wanted one called Holly. That's pomegranate. That's pretty. Let me see if I can find Holly. I'll be right back. No, no, no. So here it is, Barbie week, and I'm locked. Stop. Go sit in your bed. Go. I'm locked into this straight hair this week because I am doing um, some videos for Clarence, which I'm excited about. I love Clarence skincare. I've used it since the 90s. But now if they want edits, I have to have my hair exactly like this. And it's Barbie week, and I wanted big fun hair. But here we go. We're just going to have to do this kind of straight straight Barbie hair and I just don't see any way around it anyway okay so um I'm gonna clip it out of the way because I now realize it's really in my way and I'm gonna go in with holly pomegranate was more red tone and holly is um gosh what would I call holly it's hard to say what I would call holly but I didn't want anything going too red because you'll see in a minute what I'm going to put in my crease. I mean, on my eyelid. So I'm going to do Holly. It's so pretty. If you have um, blue or green eyes, this Holly is really going to make your eyes pop. Now, my eyes are hazel and I have a lot of green in my hazel. So when I wear colors like this, I very much get more green tones coming out of my eye. That's pretty, I like it. I like it, I like it. You know what I'm not liking? You know, I just got new carpet, did I tell you? Got new carpet and I got it last week and it's so beautiful and we absolutely love it. We're so happy. So I changed my room around here a little bit 
and I decided to shoot closer to this back wall just because it's you know more interesting not to have so much space behind you. It's a little more interesting. But now everything behind me is white, so it makes me look more um, dark. And so I don't feel like, I don't know why, but I don't feel like the colors look as bright because I think the white balance is off on the phone because of all the white behind me. Even though it almost looks kind of dull and gray, it's all this white behind me. So I don't feel like these colors really stand out. Tell me if you think I look more dull than normal. You guys have watched me long enough. Okay, now I'm going back in with this brush. I'm not dipping back into Paris. I'm just gonna kind of go back and forth so that Paris and Holly kind of blend together. But I needed the Paris for the pink, but I needed the Holly for the depth. And I'm not going under the eye. I'm just gonna keep it just like that. Because now I'm gonna go in with Bayou because I feel like that is super Barbie. That color by you is very Barbie to me. And I'm gonna go in, oh yeah, cute. Okay, we're gonna do a brush though, rather than my finger, only because I have the tiniest bit of mascara on. And because I'm doing Barbie makeup, I feel like that needs a fake lash. Now, even though this is Barbie makeup and most of you are thinking, I would never do Barbie makeup. You're only doing this for Barbie week. True, but this, for my girls who love color, look at that. That's fun. And see, the greens and blues in Bayou really pop off of that pink and that reddish that kind of orangey orangey reddish brown oh my gosh it's so pretty you know i do fun colors like this and then i think why don't i wear this more often why don't i wear this every day it makes me feel so cute remember ladies when we were young and in it was the 1980s and we all wore color then the 90s came and we were anti-color, weren't we? We were so anti-color. But this is just so fun. Look at that. That's fun. I don't care who you are. That is fun makeup. That is fun. Okay, we love, we love. Okay, and then I'm gonna take a little bit of maybe some Aries. Aries is that kind of like white sparkle and I want to do some Aries on the inner eye to kind of lighten up. I don't like a bright, bright color on the inner eye unless I'm going for a specific look, but I'm even going to go on the inner eye just a little bit. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. It's the Aries. If anyone has kids or daughters that wanna be Barbie for Halloween, this is such a fun combination. If you really look at a Barbie, like you could even Google or go on Pinterest and type in Barbie or you could Google Barbie and look at her makeup close up. She has like this almost kind of pinky um, depth in her crease and then she always has some kind of fun See, I feel like I look really dark. I don't know, y'all. I feel like I look really dark because of the, the white balance of the camera is off. I'm not happy about that, but I can't change it now. So it just is what it is. I'm so sorry. What I need to do is I need to learn how to play with the white balance of the camera. So that's probably probably a YouTube I need to do. And then I'm gonna take an angled brush, just a little angled brush, and I'm gonna go in with um, 
So Salem or Black Friday? We have a Black Friday eyeliner. This might be the shadow Salem. I think it's Salem. We'll double check. I just want a little bit of black, nothing too much, nothing too dark, nothing too heavy. Let's see. Yeah, this is Salem. So it's, it's a black shadow. Sometimes women, like, look, that gave me a really nice black line. But sometimes women just prefer a shadow liner. They feel it looks softer or it's easier to apply. I mean, look how easy this is. It's not easy though to put makeup on or eyeliner on when you already have mascara, but we're gonna make it work. I do these videos for fun. I'm not going for a Vogue cover where every little stroke is gonna be scrutinized and it has to be totally symmetrical. This is just a fun YouTube video. Nothing has to be perfect. I'm not young anymore. If I was in my 30s, I would do makeup differently and I would really care about the symmetry and everything. But at this age, I just, we just need to look good close up. It doesn't have to be perfect. I do everyday makeup. I realize this is not everyday makeup, but isn't it fun? Isn't this fun? And then I'm going to go in a little bit I'm not re-dipping this, just whatever is on the brush. I'm gonna go into the outer eye only, just the outer eye. And then Barbie definitely has a black waterline. Let me make sure this is my black pencil. Yeah, I think. Yeah, that's black. And we're gonna go up into the waterline. There. Feels very Barbie to me. Feels very Barbie. I'm gonna do a little bit of powder. So I'm gonna get out my vanilla dusting powder. And I'm gonna kinda go through the center of my face. So we're gonna do a little blush. And lips. Cute. Okay, I want to do, I think I want to do Dahlia. Does anyone know what Dahlia looks like? Where's my Dahlia? Did you see my Saint blush video yet? I did a whole video on Saint blushes. Ooh, I don't know. We might need Pinky Promise. But I have Dahlia somewhere. What's this one? That's baby watermelon. You know what? I think we're going to do, is this Dahlia? Yeah. Okay. So let's see. This is Dahlia. Yeah. I think that's Barbie pink more than pinky promise. Oh yeah. Okay. We're going to do Dahlia. So cute, right? How fun is this? And we're going to do Dahlia on the lips too. So I'm going to take a shape brush because I want it to go on softly. I think I like Dahlia too because Dahlia is a satin. So most people know the satins stay on a little bit better, a little bit longer wearing. Oh, look at that. I mean, that's very Barbie. I 
I do like this shape brush. Of course, I use the shape brush for my R5 too. You really have to have the shape brush for R5. The R5 will not go on with other brushes, I find. Let me know if you found differently, but the R5 and the shape brush are perfect together. Okay, let's try a little. <gasps> Cute. That's cute. You know who else Dahlia looks great on? It looks great on a lot of people, but it is so pretty on like deeper skin. So like that kind of like deeper JLo skin. I'll tell you what, Marita, if Marita is here, Marita, you can tell me if you can pull off Dahlia. I would love to hear if you can do Dahlia. That's cute. Cute, cute, cute. And then we're going to do a little bit of cedar. I know it's weird that I'm doing contour after my blush, but sometimes if I want it to show, because Barbie's contoured. She just is. Now we're not going to contour our temples because we don't do that that's what the young girls do we do not contour our temples but we can definitely contour the jaw I like the detail brush because it just kind of blends it right in And then I'm taking, I'm not taking more blush. I'm just going, see how I'm kind of pouncing over the contour, but then I've got the more sculpted look. Listen, we're gonna just have fun. It's Barbie. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of cedar on the nose, just a little bit. Remember, if you do the bridge of your nose, you want to kind of see how I'm taking it right up to the eyebrow because our bridge goes up to the eyebrow. But see how you go to the eyebrow and then you just let it kind of go right into the eyebrow. And then I have a little dip in my nose right here. But then I tap it out because I don't want it to look too obvious. And then I do there little more of a button nose like I used to have when I was younger. Okay, so there we have some cute Barbie makeup. We could even do, um, oh my gosh, that's so cute. We could do, oh my gosh, the new peach, <gasps> the new peach lip balm. I love the new peach lip balm. It smells exactly like peach. Cute. Mm-hmm. So we're doing a little bit. And now we have a little bit of sheen and it smells peachy. Mm, it smells so good, the peach lip balm. And um, it feels a little more Barbie to me because I feel like Barbie would love the smell of peach on her face. You could even do it up on the eyes too. Now I have a nice sheen, but you could also add a little bit of pearl. Watch this. Right? A little bit of pearl because Barbie has... I don't know if you guys know Patty Dubroff, but Patty Dubroff literally did um, Margot Robbie's makeup. I don't know if she did it in the film, but she did it for all of the press and all the red carpet. 
And she talks about on TikTok exactly how she did Mar Margot Robbie. And she definitely keeps the face more natural, but she definitely does the highlight on the cheek, the brow bone, and a little bit on the nose. And that's the color pearl. And if anyone thinks like, oh, that's too much, um, it's too much highlight, you can do less. I like a lot, but you can also take your powder and remember, you're just going to go where the pores are because if you're matte, more matte or natural down the middle, but then you've got this cute highlight out here, people will feel like that's more of a true little glow. You won't look greasy. See, it's just right there. I'm telling you, the, I love the tips from the pros. Even though I'm a pro, I never get tired of other pros. I love hearing what other pros do, okay? Um, I'm gonna go get a fake lash and I'll be right back. All right, tell me if you know. I just noticed the difference. I just closed the windows in this room and I feel like now I look a little bit more colorful. I think maybe the windows, the sunlight coming in was flooding out all the color. Okay, so I just did a half lash. You can see it right here. Look from the side. Um, I think these are fun, and especially when you do a lot of pretty eyeshadows and you don't want to hide it with big old lashes. I think the half lashes are great. These are Ardell 318. I always tell women, start with a half lash so much easier and it's really more than a half lash because it's out here well no it's about a half lash I guess it is um it's probably easier to put them on before mascara but I already had mascara on now watch this we're gonna do a little bit of glue I'll show you the glue I'm using in a minute okay and this group glue is so easy to use and it dries super fast. It's the Duo Quick Set, okay? Now, I always use tweezers to put my lashes on, but recently I started using these. You can get them from the brand Kiss, Walgreens, CVS, Kiss Lashes. And I'll tell you why, because you can hold them and it's the same shape as I always blow on it for like 10 seconds. Although it's a fast, it's a fast drying glue. And then you have to have a magnification mirror. Even when I was young, I used a magnification mirror. And you just kind of set it on the outer eye. Kind of just sets there and does all the work. Uh-oh. Okay, that's better. I had a little, um, any, see, this is why I do concealer after or demi after the eyes, but today I did all that first. Um, okay, so you can even use the little back of it to kind of push it down and make sure it's really, but look at that, see? Isn't that fun? And now you've got that beautiful depth and length in the outer eye, but they're not too long here, so you don't feel like maybe you're wearing like um, a costume or drag queen lash. Not that there's anything wrong with drag queens. We love drag queens at Mature Makeup Masterclass. You better believe we do, but we just don't wanna look like one, that's all. Okay, so then I'm gonna take what's left on my demi I think I just got a little bit of the Salem fell under the eye but that looks nice okay that's a little dark there but that's a vein I didn't feel like covering it. I guess I'm being kind of lazy. Maybe I'll go in and cover it a little bit. Get a little peach. Now, if you are not into Saint, I'm gonna do Barbie makeup on Saturday using traditional brands. 
but I've because the whole week is Barbie week, I just thought how fun, maybe if it's just only for me, how fun to do Barbie makeup. Or with Halloween coming up, people are gonna do a lot of Barbie costumes this Halloween. How cute is this Barbie eye? It looks just like the doll. And this cute blush, Dahlia. Dahlia is so girly in pink, I love it. So, let's see, let's take the hair out. You can also do lower lashes, but I'm not gonna do lower lashes today because it's just gonna, I, what I mean by lower lashes is mascara, but I'm not gonna do mascara because I just don't feel like doing mascara today, but I would if I was going out somewhere, if I was doing a, a costume, I would do, I would not only do lower mascara, I might even draw a couple little fake black lashes like we used to do in the 60s and 70s. By we, I mean my mom. Look at that. Is that the most fun eye makeup? I mean, I literally could wear this right now out to dinner or I could take Gracie shopping. Um, I did a look similar to this yesterday doing traditional makeup and she's like, mom, I love Barbie makeup on you. You could wear that anywhere. And I'm like, yeah, it, you know, it just comes down to confidence. Would, would I, you know, would I feel confident wearing this out? Yeah, maybe not in a chambray shirt. You know, maybe I'd put on some cute black top or, you know, something lacy. Um, but, you know, even a black, maybe wrap dress, you know, something black would really set off this look and really look very, look at that beautiful highlight. That's pearl illuminator. Anyway, I hope that was fun for you. It was fun for me. Okay, next week, we will be out of town. It is our birthday, and I'm taking Gracie away for our last little getaway before she goes back to school in August. I am going to have a video uh, on Demi. A few weeks ago, I had a big bruise here. Tate knocked me super hard, and I show how to cover it with Demi and not just by slathering a big, thick thing of Demi on there and being done. That's concealer. That's not Demi. Even though it's a bruise, I want you to even think like, oh, if this was an under eye, and I want you to see all the different types of colors I use to um, get rid of the bruise without it looking like I'm covering the bruise. I'm canceling the bruise. I'm not covering the bruise. One thing I see a lot on um, Instagram is I see a lot of dem um a saint artist using Demi like concealer or like their 3D foundation. They're not using Demi the way it's supposed to be, which is color canceling co color, sheer tiny little layers of it. Even if you see me doing, um, even if you see me doing this with like 01, I'm talking, I'm doing a sheer sweep of it. So if you get close up, you can still see skin. You're not seeing product. So that's why I wanted to do the bruise video because I wanted to show you how many colors it takes because not everyone can just put O3 in their tear ducts and be like, done, my darkness is colored. O3 is not going to work on dark under eyes. You have to use all the different colors. So come back next week if you're really interested in covering darkness on the face. I'm going to show that. It's like maybe a five minute video, um, but I will upload it here on YouTube and then I will be back the following week. You better believe it. And I think I'm going to come back with the easiest, easiest mature way to wear Demi and Saint that I've ever done because so many women are coming to me with these long convoluted inventory lists that they have bought and they don't know what to do with it. And I'm like, you've been oversold and you have a lot of wrong colors. They're all too light. And I'm not blaming any saint artists at all. A lot of these women buy collections. Well, collections, you get stuck with a lot of colors that are way too light for your mature skin, and it's just going to look really textured, okay? I think I'm going to do that the very, very beginning of August. But next week, check back for a five-minute Demi bruise because you're not going to believe how it disappears. It's really cool. And this is why I love Demi. And this is why I came to Demi. And this is why what brought me to Saint. It was Demi. It was my gateway drug, right? Okay. God loves you and so do I. And I will see you two weeks.